Hello and welcome back to Roller Coaster Tycoon <laughs> with the most depressing weather ever. <laughs> yeah, that that's what we have right here. We have a rainstorm basically. Um in what is otherwise like well, a pretty oddly shaped park where we have like basically a lollipop <laughs> sticking up in like our park. So, yeah, you know, it's, um, what can we say? Interesting, to say the least. We also have a nightmarish um, path uh, layout uh, logistic works over here, or <laughs> whatever you want to call it. But anyway, that's not really what we are here for, because we are just setting up the basics uh, for this park. Now, last time we've built the tower, which nobody will go into. We've built this right, which nobody will go into. And we've built the, or we haven't built this, but we kept this roller coaster, which uh, nobody will go into because it's raining. So effectively, we are not making money. Now, granted, we can loan up to 25,000. So I'm not that worried about it for right now. And I think that, um, you know, to add a little bit of challenge, I think that we should only build the coasters to complete the challenge that we have, which is like 10 with uh, more than um, 1400 meters of length and also is 7 in the excitement rating. I think the challenge we should do is to only build coasters that have proper trains. So, you are disqualified. You are disqualified. You are disqualified. Oh, and you as well. And uh, you and you too. That leaves not that many left, which also kind of means that we definitely need more uh, research. Oh, and by the way, you are also disqualified. Not even sure if this counts as a coaster, but it has it in a name, so we won't build it, just to be sure. So, yeah, you know, that's... Uh, that's gonna be the added challenge. Only do train type coasters. Which means that we really, really, really need this type, uh, not this type, just this wooden coaster. Which, right now, um, the park's not doing great, really. I mean, there's not much to do. And I think, that if we're clever, what we start doing is constructing this coaster. And then work our way onwards from that, because it's not that expensive, and we don't need to build it that expensive either, as we can have it follow the terrain a little bit, and basically go wherever we want over here. So what I'm thinking is, we build the station in the underground here, below the path, have the exit connect up here, uh, and the queue as well, by the way. <laughs> but then also have something on top, so that will be like win-win. We need to open up the you know, the park over here, of course, but we will uh, figure that out. That's not the issue. Uh, but for the rest, yeah, I think building the coaster would be the more clever move here. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, and also, you know, just out of curiosity, yeah, I know. Cleanliness of the park is not an issue. Uh, views are... Um, Right, so, let's see. Let's first get the coaster sorted, and then worry about the rest. So, following through on what I just said, we basically want this to be like where our coaster... Yeah. This is where we want it. And, uh, we're gonna go maximum station length, because I don't care about crashes on this one. All I want is money. Alright, it doesn't really go further. So that means that, for example, we want this over here, because I want the entrance to be here. And we're gonna have the queue go all the way up here. So, just so you know that this is gonna be like this long thing. What? Sounds good enough? Oh, wait. <laughs> it might help if I actually build it on the right uh, side there. 
Rightio, there we are then. We have loops. Uh, do we? Yeah, we actually have loops. <laughs> we have loops, we have water splashes, we have everything to play around with. Uh, and we need to think about our budget as well with this first coast. Eh? Let's actually try to keep this somewhat sane with the budget. Right. Uh, also, <laughs> I'm starting to have regrets about the medieval music already. <laughs> Not entirely sure what you guys think about it, but I'm having regrets already. And then to the right. I just want to know, like, if we were to build this, like, how high is the loop going to go? Till where is it going to go? Doesn't give me height numbers now, does it? But I have a freaking suspicion <laughs> that height 19 is not high enough. Which basically means that we kind of do want, like, another lift piece, because I want a loop in there. Now, this isn't really much of an issue here. And then, basically just go like this. And in theory, we should also be able to do something like this. So, this is just to get the basics sorted. And then, all we need to do really is just get out of here. Let's get out of here in this manner. Man, is that music? Is that music bad or is it just me? <laughs> I mean, it sucks balls. <laughs> oh man, what did we, what did we choose for, really? Oh yeah, okay. Let's go up a little bit higher here. Um, height fifteen. That's like, rather, I don't know, really. I mean, do we want to go all the way over here? We're kind of forced to. It's just that I do want to follow the terrain a little bit. Not too much, though. Yeah, let's, let's, let's approach this different. Let's approach this differently. Um, would we be able to just pull off a loop like over here and add out 15 that's a bit tricky and iffy this is also hide 15 maybe one before this if we're gonna do it we better make sure that we actually make it and of that I'm not entirely sure but let's try it right ah, that seems pretty possible Right. And now we can just do whatever we want with this. Basically pray that we still get this without too much terraforming. Uh, wow, we're already at, at high 20 with this. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> um, this means that we will actually need like a lift piece here. And that much is for certain. Uh, now those trees, they can be easily get rid of. Also, I'm, so, I'm seeing our money and you know what? Let's just take out everything because I know we're going to need it. I just know this, you know, and this will make me feel good in like, uh, you know, constructing this coaster with all the money that we're going to need. So far, so cool with our uh, special track sections. Uh, drop down. Let's have this go into the underground if possible. Yeah. 
kind of stupid to not check where the other coasted tracks is <laughs> before I started building here. And sometimes you've just got to roll with it. Now I believe this will get me, yeah, that will get me up to the same height, which is not really what I want to do. So let us get like around here. We don't really have helixes or anything. I also don't really think like we will need many of them. We do want to at least get a little bit more underground in here. I mean, there is also the path here. We need to be careful for that. Let's not go too overboard over here. Raise or lower the land. Is a tree in the way? Apparently so. You'll always see that there is a tree in the way wherever we want to build. Nice, and we get the rotor drop. That's pretty solid, actually. This is also like a solid headache that we're just creating. Balls. Okay. Interesting. That's not allowed. <coughs> Maybe we can get away with this. It sure seems like it. All we would need to do here is just get this done. Uh, I don't know. I just, I just don't want to take risks with this, so... What we'll do is, we'll do this. To be fair, oh crap. To be fair though, this is kind of cool in terms of track design. I mean, you can say what you want about, you know, me constructing this and all, but in terms of track design, I am liking this, like a lot. Now, where exactly are we building right now? Where's the lower the land? We are out here. Let's go just straight for a little bit. Okay, and also guys, I, I've made up my mind about medieval music. So, and it's not positive. <laughs> it is everything but positive. Just so you know, <laughs> man, <laughs> does it just suck or what? <laughs> you know, if I say not positive, I mean it just sucks balls. Nice. And then this should, yeah, pretty good. Now we're at a height eight currently. We need to get up to height thirteen. Which I want to do, but I want to get up from over here and then return. So that's what we're, we are going to do. So that means we'll just have to do like uh, a little bit of curving around. We're actually not that far off of doing something like this. See, like, this is the type of fanciness in the track design that I want. And then we need to line it up to, like, this line of tiles, which we are awfully close to. And we basically want to stay at, like, height 30. You could be kidding me, that almost lines it up. Now, this is, of course, yeah, there's trees in the way. Could have known, should have known. Maybe... Probably, but you know what? Let's not do that. Let us actually have this go straight I Like the tiniest curve possible And then say can I have a water splash? Water splash? It should be possible I, I might be missing something here, but in theory this should be 
possible. So long as we remove all the terrain. Bam. Right. Now I'm not entirely sure whether or not this will actually be 1400 meters in, in length. It could be that we're missing uh, out a little, but we'll see. If it is 1400 meters, I am pretty sure that the ratings will be sufficient. So I'm not worried about those. Uh, what I am worried about though is uh, the total length. So we'll see. Anyway, what we're gonna have this do is run in parallel with the station. Is that clever? Probably not, but we'll see. It seems like the uh, pace on this coaster is actually not bad. And that also breaks it in such a natural way that this thing cannot crash. Which is another rather nice uh, trait for this coaster. gonna do it. This is gonna be like a true ugly piece of work. We're gonna have this just connect up here and remove the tree. And this is basically the way things are gonna be. Oh and also don't don't start creating squares over there. Now what we'll do is we will just basically say okay till there you're allowed. Um, yeah, get these out there. We will also need a view over here. For the time being, you know, we can we can just slam down like a few of these things here. Why are you jump? Why are you why are you blinking like that? You know, I mean, that's just. Stupid. Let's get like a few trash cans out there, also there. Now, this is the moment of truth. Is it longer than 1400 meters? We are um, almost halfway. <laughs> right, knowing that, we have a little bit more work ahead and we are gonna get there. Um, basically, this is a cool uh, re-entry bit. But what we're going to do is um, let us uh, let us remove this bit because that's basically what we're going to have to redo here. So there, and then something like this. Uh, in theory, from height 17, you know, right now we're at station's height. Would it be cool if we were able to somehow, because right now I believe, it's a bit hard to see, but I believe we are in parallel with our track over here, which I think is pretty cool. So we get like another... up and down section in here. Yeah, this this could be something. That is if I can still get to see like where we're building. Uh, I hope that things are going all right here. Uh, I can't vouch for anything, uh, so we'll just have to see. <laughs> Uh, well, this looks alright. Also, do you guys notice this or is it just me? But I think that it's extremely rainy in this part. Now let's just... Okay, so that's not even gonna be a thing we can do. Uh, we need to worry like a little bit about where we're building because right now we are building below the path. So in order to alleviate this issue, 
Oh, I want this to be banked. And then basically what we should do right now is maybe try for another loop. Should we do that? I think it would be cool if we do that. We can just do one in the underground, to be fair. I mean, why would we want one above ground anyway, right? Or should we do like a lift up and then do like a loop? By the way, how's our... We do make some money. We have right construction costs and landscaping. But else, we do make quite a bit of money in this part. Wait, hold on a second. Did we... Why exactly are you closed? I know why that is. <laughs> derp. <laughs> derp. Big time derp. Yeah, because of our pathing situation, we basically want all of this stuff covered by mechanics. Which is kind of annoying, really. But yeah, we'll, ha we'll have to... Uh, We'll have to do it like this. Now, hopefully, because this is broken down, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop you down here and hopefully you'll get the call. Because I believe that it works in such a way that that more or less resets uh, what the mechanic was doing. Now, and it will do like a recalculation of the sorts for like, uh, you know, his... Uh, his area and his, his pathing logic, you know, and all that jazz. That as a true tycoon, you don't really want to deal with, but you have to anyway. So, uh, at height 15, this is probably not a bad idea to start worrying about how to get this back towards the station. And I think that we got ourselves covered. And if we go over here... Uh, there's no real need to do that. It's kind of cool, you know, us just going around the other coaster track that we've already built again. We can have like a lift go down. <laughs> Say what now? <laughs> That's interesting. I did not realize that we can have like a lift go down. I was not aware. But okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna because of course that's more expensive. But still, yeah. <laughs> it's an uh, interesting, uh, interesting option to have, so to say. So what we should do right now is test it again and see if it's long enough. We've added like uh, a, quite a bit of length, so in theory it should make this. Now, what we should do is, because it's like really crowded in the park, what we should do is remove you, and I see, I see vomit. What you're gonna do is you're gonna clean this. And then uh, what we should do as well is, uh, oh, bolts. Guys, please do watch the test ride for me and see if it makes it. If we're gonna hear crashing noises, then I know that the underground loop was not the best of ideas. <laughs> that we will have learned. I did what? Somehow it double clicked in here. It's not really <laughs> the place that I had in mind for the toilet that I wanted to build. Right, let's have you open there. It is like really close actually. Back like quick enough for that loop. It is. And it's really hanging on of those uh, lifting sections because without them, it basically wouldn't make it. I'm not entirely sure if this is like really clever to do because the right time is going up. We might even want to add like a... Ah, uh, now it, it just barely connects, but... <laughs> in terms of pace, uh, this is like absolutely terrible. 
That's all I can say. Maybe what we should do is change it a little so that it has a little bit more pace. I'm not entirely sure if uh, we can do that really, but... Oh, we're not even there yet either with the length. Right, in that case, uh, what we need to do is... We, we don't need to add much now, because we're at like 1200 meters. But in that case, I think it would be clever if we then do like a lift piece here. And then basically say like, okay, from here on, we'll do like a steep draw. Oh, that's a shame. Really would have loved if that piece uh, was available. It should be now though. Well, now there's a lot more. to go too deep with this now. We'll do like a quick and dirty underground, you know, which is basically what this is. And then we could curve it around, which is what we will do. Uh, actually, if we go wide over here, then what's what's in the way now? Is it the trees? There's always the trees. <laughs> I mean, what what question am I even asking? I mean, of course there is the trees in the way. It cannot be anything else. Uh, right. And then this should go like this. Now I want to line this up in such a way that when we go over here and I can remove this tree, then basically do I have leeway for just this would be really nice. We are able to. Oh, nice! This is this is what I want. Yes, this is a like proper uh, proper track length, and I think with, with with what we do over here, we should be able to make it. Uh, that's cool. Just, just doesn't make it, and I have to because of. Ah, oh. such a shame. I really would have loved it if yeah, it's just it's one tile. Oh man, if I were to do this, of course this is not the issue right here. It's more like the sideway, sideway G's that are the issue right now. Anyway, um, back to what we're, we were doing is like adding uh, shops and stalls over here, which I think we direly need. Uh, also, have I added like a handy dude in here? No. Next thing, you know, next order of business. Add handy dude here. Because you will be needed. Let's also give you like that area. No, let's not actually. Let's keep you only on the new area. So there we go. And whenever we see dirty stuff, you know, we will uh, get our handy dude like you. Wow. Whenever we see dirty stuff, there's like loads of it. This is like really bad. Right, guys, 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 this, this 1400 meter challenge, you know, and getting all the coasters done right like that, that's anything but easy. Now, mind you, I hope that we have done this right, you know, 
and have the track length that we need. But just look at the type of coaster that we are building. We've spent 20,000 on it. Next coaster will be like quite a while before we can uh, build another one, you know? J just so you know, I'm just putting it out there. Uh, I, th I think we'll be good. I think we'll be good. But still, you know, next coaster will be like crazy difficult for us to... Uh... Oh, have you started mowing the grass again already? Yeah, just clean. Look, it is 1400 me. It was 14. It wasn't 1500, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this is like the first coaster that we have built that has passed the marks. And it says <laughs> that it is ultra extreme. So what happens exactly? I mean, I see like the positive vertical G's. And those are the ones that we need to tackle. Oh, that's the second loop, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the second loop, all right. Now, that's right before this. Is there like a way, a way that we can break this a little bit? Yeah, we can break this a little bit. I mean, after this loop, you know, we'll just have to make sure that it makes it onto this first lift bit. But right now it makes it all the way up till here, so I think it's pretty safe if we... What if we don't do the loop? Because I don't think we'll actually need it. Let's do the loop and let's break it first. So we come from over here. And then we go... And it's, <laughs> it's difficult to actually see from where do we arrive. How exactly does the track run? We have like this up and up and down ends, and then we have this this curve over here. This is, this I believe is the curve that we need to change. So it goes with um, 77 kilometers into the loop. Let us let us get this sorted. Now that's easy. So all we need to do is like. And that's actually like a, uh, this type of curve. And then I believe... Yeah, and now we can basically break it. This is like our break piece here, which we will add. And let's set it to... No, that's, that's what it arrives at. Let's set it to that, but let's do go with like one train for testing. Wait, what? Oh, I did. <laughs> Balls! I did not click. <laughs> ah, game. Now we said 764, right? I'm not sure if 64 will be enough. Let's go with the 72. That's also breaking it. And uh, then we should have it all right. But at the same time, you know, I have, the, I have a feeling that the lateral Gs that we pull in this curve are also not really helping out. Because I think those are also an issue. And mind you, you know, this coaster is not really good, this type, at dealing with them lateral Gs. Now those are all good, right? Yeah, look, that's all within the acceptable uh, realm. We just need to basically watch it and see it go into the underground. So far, so good. Though this is also like a pretty intense spike already. We might have to change it like right after here, because this, you know, right after this corner piece, it's also not looking so hot. Uh, this is looking good right now. It's not looking good over there. We need to break it. Let's break it. It's not gonna work out. Come on, game. Game! I'm clicking here. Would you please? Thank you. 64, that's what we're gonna need. Let's keep an eye on this graph again. Let's 
let's go back into it. We're basically going to debug this coaster. This will be like such a long video. <laughs> it will be crazy. But we are going to debug this over here. Uh, in the meantime, though, what we should do is get like a few more shops and stalls out here. Thanks, game. Thanks for not reminding the view that I had here. So far, so good. Now, this is another bit, like I said. It's basically, it's like this this down here. We might have to lower the or, uh, raise and that actually a little bit. So it's not like such an intense drop. That might not be such a bad idea. No, oh, really. Mechanic, one. Uh, I think we need like a loose walking mechanic. And he will probably head to like a, a station like miles away, you know? So. Uh, oh. Great, so it's basically not making it at 64 kilometers an hour. That's just awesome. Right, so what do we what do we do about this here? I think that we need to cut out the loop. Um, cutting it out will basically ensure that we uh, you know that we will make it. Uh, we can easily do that as well. It's not really a challenge. So there. And then what we might want to do is because of this, let's just have this be like a general lifting area. Because we can basically, I don't know what I removed, <laughs> I did remove something. We can basically have this be like constructed in like this fashion, right? And let's remove a few of these pieces. Nope. Backwards. Look, if we can get something like this going, we basically have all we need. And then let's, whilst we're at it, you know, we might as well. Oops, <laughs> that was not the intention. But the game is a bit finicky today with uh, where I click and where I don't click. I know, game. I know you just complained about it that, you know, like a few minutes ago. I am working on it, but I can't, you know, do magic, so. Let's see how it likes this, because we've changed a few things. Hopefully, we, it will still be long enough. We didn't really have that much track length to spare, but it should be good enough. Look, see, you needed to go into, like, this station. For whatever reason, it needed to be that station. Which is, like, where exactly? Yeah, look, it's all the way over there. Also, I see that we have an issue there. A vomit issue. And also, I see well, you might want to... does make it nice how is the G's because this was like the important stuff oh G's are much 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 better all the spikes have been taken off you know this is like really good crap uh, where is it now though it's over there uh, that might still be a little bit like uh, too sharp in the G's yeah 2.83. The rest is all below. It's that one curve. That might still ruin everything. Now, just pointing it out there, uh, if that's the, like the, the case, we can probably do something about it. But look at this. We shaved off like a full G. And that's pretty good. So, you need to be over there. Let's get the view back to a little bit more normal, shall we? Uh, 
Man. It's still not good enough. <laughs> it, it did help a little bit. Uh, but I think that we need this to be closed first. And then basically redo this just a little bit. So let me see. What can we do? Maybe all we need to do really is just see that we somehow... What if we do like two water splashes? So we do like another one here. Uh, curve it here. And then basically th this, because that's angled. This goes just here and done. Not entirely sure if that will help it. Um, it's a bit of a nightmare though. Now, I think what we should do is, uh, whilst this is test riding and you guys watch this, I quickly have to build like a few more rides. I feel like that would not be such a bad idea. Because in reality, what's happening is like the whole park is basically running, but it's not really healthy. And we could make a bit of money whilst it's operating. And who is against earning a little bit of money? Okay, that was not clever. <laughs> uh, let's relocate you. We want you, like, truly want you. You would probably live somewhere over here, wouldn't you? Like, how about, like, right next to over here? That seems cool. This would probably go over here. Uh, basically, we can cause the whole park. You know, we're, we're not like, being good tycoons here. So uh, that that's just uh, you know the understatement of the day, basically. And in hindsight, I would probably have, would have been a smarter choice to remove the first coaster and then rebuild one of our own. Now it's currently getting back to the station. And how is the lateral, geez? How is the spike near the end? You say like, what spike, right? Because it's gone right now. No. This is like 1G less. If, if it's now not good... What can I say other than it's good enough, huh? <laughs> so let's charge seven bucks for this and have this be open and generate loads of money for it for us because damn do we need it. I know it needs to be closed. We'll close it. Three trains open for business clicks. So this is like the first order of business that we need to do <laughs> because this will save our finances. You know, having like two coasters in is definitely better than only having the one in. Oh, really? So that's the way you're gonna play this. Fine then, game. If that's the way you want to play this, and that's the way we shall play this. Uh, let's quickly set this up, because, man, are we gonna need it. And, by the way, uh... Is nobody wanting to go on this? Really? You can't afford roller coaster one. You're crazy. Everybody can afford roller coaster one because they're all very rich. Right? Right. Yeah, also, I think what's happening as well is that. Yeah, well, actually, some guests are also. I don't know. I think what's happening is that we at least see loads and loads of vomit. Uh, near like, you know, the exits here. Oh, this is so bad. Just a few benches it would have been like a great idea to start out with, you know? I mean, the guests actually, they, they will become like very unhappy because of all the, all the vomit, you know, and all the mess, basically. <laughs> 
Right now, what we need to do, because we uh, we can we can worry about that like a little bit later. But uh, let's open this up because this will also help with the park finances. And in theory, we should have everything covered for the time being, uh, except except for this. Let's let's fix that. So let let us get this um, named and let us get this colored. You know, both of them really. Like, why don't we call this? Why, why, why don't why don't we call this? I candy woman. I candy woman. That's uh, at least the starter for this one. And we shall call this um, Sinopura. Uh, no, we will call it Sinopura Elytra. Sinopura Elytra. Two cool names, if you ask me. Um, all this goes in now really needs to do is like um, start making some more money than uh, what it's currently doing because really <laughs> we need everything. Wow, making them 1400 meters long is like a true challenge. Oh, and look, look at this. <laughs> this is instantly making money. <laughs> Oh man, what a challenge are we up for? <laughs> I don't know if um, if we made the right decision by going with like a coaster like that. You know? we'll just see. Dark blue. Yeah, dark blue looks good. And then for this one, we're not gonna go with white supports. Maybe what we can do is something like this. Where are you even? I mean, you're just tired. You don't have a map, probably. I don't know how you really got there, but... Wow, is this just bad or what? I mean, look at this. Everybody's seeing the vomit and they're, they're, they will all be like, Oh wow, what a bad park this is. <laughs> and these guests are all like, wow, this is crazy intense. And you are near the exit. Okay guys, well, all I can say is like, um, the park's not really doing all that great. <laughs> As you may have noticed, you know, it's not doing the best. Um, we're gonna get it there, you know. Uh, it's just gonna take a while. <laughs> um, trains are okay-ish. Yeah, no, trains are good. So, um, yeah, here we are in a park that turns out to be rather challenging with the decisions that we've made and I have come to regret them uh, rather heavily. Also, I think it's a bad choice to have our handy dude uh, mow the grass. So, you know, the, the one like uh, emergency handy dude. Because I have a feeling like I can drop him on a spot and then all he does is like uh, just just walk there, there, clean up like two specks of vomit and, that, and then that be it. So we're gonna undo that and hopefully you'll just walk around a little bit more to the areas where the rest doesn't come. And um, yeah, you know, we basically now need to put our hands down here and start uh, making money like really fast in this park. Because else <laughs> it's gonna be like a really long one. But all in all... What can I say other than that uh, Sinopura Elytrum is a pretty cool coaster design, you know? I especially like the section over here with the ups and downs. It's really good. It's going to be hard to surpass, <laughs> but we're going to have to next time when we play more Roller Coaster Tycoon.